Arthropoda. The Arthropoda is the kingdom which includes a large group of the insect and the Arthros means the jointed, means it includes all those organisms which has jointed appendages. Okay, so Arthro means jointed and the Poda means appendages. So it is the largest phylum of the Animalia kingdom it is the largest phylum which includes the insect and over two third of all the named species on the earth are the arthropod only the phylum arthropod basically it is a diverse group of uh, the invertebrate animal which is characterized by their joint leg and exoskeleton which is made up of chitin so they have the exoskeleton structure the outer covering which is made up of chitin uh, this phylum it includes wide range of the organisms such as insect spider crustaceans myriapod and uh, afterwards uh, it includes the or all, all those organisms with the jointed appendages so uh, let's see what are the different uh, characteristics and the features present in this phylum. So, uh, uh, appendages specialization, the arthropod appendages, they are evolved and they are specialized for the specific functions like uh, walking. They are specialized for the feeding purposes. They are specialized for the sensory uh, reception as well as for the reproduction and defense. Okay. So, they, their appendages, they have been evolved and they have specialized for the pro proper function like this. And these modified structure are the jointed and they occur in the pair. The exoskeleton basically is known as the cuticles. So, they have the exoskeleton of the cuticles and the uh, anthropod bodies are entirely covered by these cuticles which is the exoskeleton of protein and the chitin. This uh, cuticle, they are very, uh, they uh, usually vary in their thickness as well as in the hardness and they provide uh, protection as well as muscle attachment. Point. The molding is a process which is generally known uh, when the uh, shredding of the exoskeleton generally taking place. So, shredding of the exoskeleton is a process and this process is known as a molding is a characteristic feature of this uh, uh, arthropod phylum. The evolution of the exoskeleton, the fossil evidences, it indicates that the arthropod were the first uh, land uh, animal to colonize on the land about 450 million years ago. Now, let's uh, explore some more uh, characteristic feature of this phylum. So, sensory organ, they have uh, the arthropoda, they possess the well-developed sensory organ, means they have the eyes in them, they have the olfactory uh, receptors present in them, as well as they have the antenna present in them. So, these are all the sensory organs present in them. And sensory organs are concentrated at the anterior end with the exceptions like the butterfly, they, uh, they use their uh, feet for the tasting the plant. The circulatory system basically they have the open circulatory system and the body cavity is there which is known as the hemocell and uh, this open circulatory system is generally uh, is with the hemolymph. Okay, so hemocell is the body cavity and the open circulatory system is generally uh, present with the hemolymph and which is uh, propelled by the heart through the short arteries and into the hemocele, the body cavity. The hemocele becomes the main body cavity in the adult and the term blood is reserved for the closed circulatory system. The gas exchange organ, they have this specialized gas exchange organ which is generally evolved to facilitate the respiration. Okay, means despite the uh, exoskeleton they have, they have evolved the gas exchange organ in arthropoda. So, in the crustaceans, the uh, gas exchange generally takes place either through the body surface or through the gills. And the trachea generally are present in the insect, diplopoda and the ch uh, chelopoda. The uh, 
book lung are generally present in the arachnida so these are the different sensory organ which are present in the different arthropod families the excretion is there so uh, the excretion uh, for excretion also a specialized structure has uh, been evolved in the arthropoda for uh, example in the terrestrial arthropoda or the terrestrial organism they have the malpighian tubules for the excretion of the waste while the aquatic arthropoda they have the green gland in them for the excretion the sexes are separate means males and the female body is different the fertilization is internal and uh, they are either the oviporous or they are ovoviviporous. Development is either direct or indirect. Now, major arthropod lineage basically it includes the chelicerates, myriapods, and pan crustaceans, which includes the large number of organisms. For example, the chelicerates uh, it uh, involves the sea spider, the horseshoe crab, scorpion, snakes, mite, spider are included in this group while myriapod basically involves the centipedes and the millipedes pan crustaceans it includes a diverse uh, group uh, of insect lobsters shrimp barnacles and other crustaceans so let's see what are the different um, these uh, lineages and what are the different characteristics of this lineage so before um, before uh, getting into it Let's see what are the external anatomy of an arthropod. So, this is um, the external anatomy of the arthropod and many of the extensive feature of the arthropod, they are 